Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. So today we actually have a very, very big update to the LCS offseason to talk about today. Um, the news is regarding Jensen uh, and his potential future uh, in the LCS, potential outlook for the rest of this offseason. Really, really crazy, interesting stuff. A couple clips and stuff to go over. Um, this should be a good video for sure. Um, but first, make sure you guys check out the first link in the description below for my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. That would be absolutely awesome. Uh, I've been really, really active over there recently, and it's something I'm really excited about growing um, and kind of being, you know, the next little facet to this whole channel and my content creation career. Uh, so go drop a follow, maybe a prime, maybe a sub. That'd be awesome. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, um, obviously a, a big rumor. I don't even, you can't really even call it a rumor at, at this point is that team liquid is going to be getting Bjergsen. They are going to be kicking Jensen, selling Jensen, whatever, benching him. Bjergsen's going to be playing in the mid lane and Jensen is not. So, um, that leads us to the point where we need to start finding out what is next for Jensen. We know, um, obviously a guy like Jensen's probably going to be playing on one of the better teams in the LCS. Uh, so when you start looking at the top five teams, uh, you know, can't be team liquid C9. He has the past history with where obviously when he left C9 in the past, they didn't really end on the best of terms. So a lot of people kind of assume he wouldn't want to go back to C9, uh, or maybe even C9 wouldn't want him back. I, I don't know necessarily, uh, which end if maybe both of them, maybe Jensen doesn't want to come back and C9 doesn't want him back, whatever, but it, it's most likely uh, a possibility that you can eliminate, um, hundred thieves. They just signed Abadage. I, I don't, I think 100 Thieves would just kick Abadage for Jensen. That seems pretty unlikely to me um, and to pretty much everybody else. Um, then you have Evil Geniuses, who I think is a realistic option. Um, Evil Geniuses definitely has some other possibilities in the mid lane. Um, they have their academy mid laner Jojo Pune, who they could always bring back. Maybe they bring back Jizuke. Uh, there's rumors that maybe they're in the humanoid sweepstakes. Uh, they have some different options, but Jensen is very, very possible for evil geniuses. Um, you have TSM, who, again, they're in the humanoid sweepstakes. They're maybe going after some other big imports. Maybe they want to go young, but TSM Jensen, you know, very well could happen as well. Um, but I really see though those two as the most possible options. Um, so that's kind of where people have been going from here, like, Where's Jensen going to end up? Is it going to be EG? Is it going to be TSM? Uh, and we got a big update from Jensen himself today. So let's take a look at some Twitch clips uh, and see what Jensen had to say about this. I'll scoot myself over so you can actually see Jensen uh, in the bottom right. And uh, oop, didn't mean to click off of it. Supped. There we go. You weren't even subbed to begin with. Confirm you are not retiring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't plan on retiring, but, but you know... There is there is a possibility that um, that I won't be be playing next year, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens, I guess. So yeah, he just kind of drops that bomb on us that um, you know he doesn't want to retire and he's not really saying he's going to retire, but there is a very very real possibility that he could not be playing in 2022. Um, Again, it doesn't seem like it's his own doing, but also very, very interesting that this clip is Jensen, you know, confirming that he's most likely, if not all, all but confirmed to be out of Team Liquid, um, unless, you know, maybe saying, oh, unless I can end up on Team Liquid or whatever. But again, it seems like Bjergsen's going to be at Team Liquid. It's kind of cool just to see that confirmed again from somebody like Jensen. Um, but yeah, saying that, you know, maybe I'll end up on one of these other teams, but it's a very, very real possibility. And he's kind of having to come to terms with that, that... Maybe some of these teams can't meet his demands. Maybe the rosters aren't good enough, you know, yada, 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 whatever. Um, this is the first we've heard of this. You know, people have been saying, where's Jensen going to end up? Is it going to be EG, TSM, or whatever other team they think? I hadn't really heard anyone throwing around the possibilities of Jensen not being able to find a team in 2022. And to me, that would really be crazy. Because over the last couple of years, Jensen has been one of the best LCS mid laners, one of the best LCS players. Um, and in 2021, he was kind of up and down. I really wasn't that much impressed with him in spring, summer. I, I thought he had his moments. I thought he got a little bit better. Um, but at Worlds, I really thought by the end of the year at Worlds, he was playing some of the best League of Legends uh, of the whole year. And he looked pretty good internationally. So the fact that this guy would not have a spot at all in the LCS, um, especially as a resident mid laner in North America, that would be pretty surprising. That would be pretty shocking. And, I, you know, in the end, I think that would be a pretty bad decision by everybody involved. You know, if Jensen 
doesn't have a spot. But again, he is throwing this out there. He is letting people know that, yeah, it, it's possible. He hopes not. He doesn't want to retire. And either way, he's not retiring. You know, he could always come back the next year. Or maybe he sits out spring split and comes back in summer. You know, who knows? Um, but it's not because he's unmotivated. It's not because he doesn't want to. It's not because he's upset or hurt by anything that's happening or whatever. It's just... It might not work out. Now, there is another clip um, where he did actually follow up to the situation. You know, Jensen playing, uh, Jensen on playing in NA, um, where, you know, somebody asked him for a follow up on, on his earlier comments and he, he gives us a little bit more information. Is there still hope that I will play LCS next year? Uh, yeah, but it's like, I don't know. I, I don't really want to want to join a roster where I don't really see any potential so it's I don't know and I think that's totally understandable you know we've seen a lot of these guys who are very very used to being high level competitors um you know maybe not so much so in the same sense of Jensen because Jensen Really coming off a very, very good international performance. Overall, a pretty good 2021 season. You know, not his best by any means. Maybe a down year for him, but it's not like he was bad in 2021. It's not like TL's kicking him because he wasn't good enough. Uh, but we have seen guys like Sneaky, you know, who are like, yeah, I'm going to play for a good team. I'm going to be making good money or I'm not coming back. Double lift, you know, he's trying to come back now. He's not just coming back to any team. He wants to play for one of the better teams. And Jensen's in the same situation. And somebody asked him, you know, uh, can are we gonna can we expect to see you back in the LCS or you know can we can we count out you coming back all together and he's just a little hesitant he's like he's not it seems like Jensen almost believes that the most likely outcome is that he's not gonna make it on one of these top five teams to start the spring split and and that's just coming from me you know saying one of the top five teams but what if Jensen looks at the TSM roster what if Jensen sees the EG roster and isn't that excited about them? Doesn't think they're going to be that good, especially when, um, you know, he's looking at his old team and he's looking at his old rival, Bjergsen, and seeing that Team Liquid roster and seeing the 100 Thieves team um, that, that just, you know, they're going to be the defending LCS champions. Maybe Cloud9 is going to be making some moves. I don't know. Um, I'm just assuming that Jensen would be down to play on TSM or EG, but maybe there's other factors involved as well where he's maybe not even interested in some of those teams. But man, I just thought this was really, really crazy because, you know, historically, I'm not the biggest Jensen fan. You know, I've been more of a Bjergsen fan. So like when they're rivals, I got to be, you know, a little critical of Jensen and stuff. And um, but lately, Jensen, it's, you know, kind of been impressed me again. I, I thought he played well at Worlds. And um, yeah, I just I didn't consider this to be an option. It seems like a lot of other people didn't as well. Um, but yeah, all of a sudden, Jensen has this stream tonight. and He's dropping all of these bombs on us. And some of our offseason scenarios, some of our rosters, some of our LCS, um, you know, mid lane tier list, power rankings, whatever, for starting the 2022 season, we need to start thinking about a world where potentially Jensen doesn't fit in. Now, this does kind of lead me to ask the questions of like, oh, would he go to EU? You know, could he maybe uh, work on like a Fnatic or something like that? Again, I don't know if they'd be interested in that. I don't know if he'd be interested in that. Um, but I'm just kind of brainstorming. But man, um, I find it very, very hard to believe he's not going to end up on one of C9, EG, TSM, something like that. But man, uh, yeah, this was crazy. Very, very big news coming out of the LCS world today. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate it so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Do you think Jensen's going to end up on a team or do you think he's going to be sitting out to start the season? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to save today and all my latest content. Hopefully, catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.